me on the hunt. We're out here for moose. A gentleman I had met on my earlier scouting trip in September owns this property right here. As you can see, it's going to be a lovely day. Our hunt isn't going to start here. I do believe talking to Bob Swenson, my contact from Perth. I believe we're going to go east of Perth this morning, but that don't prove successful. I believe we'll probably come back over in this area. Rolla. North Dakota is up this way, oh, about 10 miles. I am looking west now. As you can see, there's plenty of brush and swamp and undercover for these animals to live. Now looking south, there's another state land quarter section back this way, which the animals move go from this area and travel south, southeast, over into that country. That other quarter section, well, from right here would be two and a half to maybe three miles. And there's a, a farmer on the west side of that state land that uh, hopefully we can get some permission to get access in there. You, I'm gonna show you here can see these quarter sections are back in there but there is snow drifts early in the morning like this it isn't bad it's frozen hard but it's supposed to be 45 to 50 today and it'll it'll make it interesting uh, but where there's a will there's a way and we're gonna get it spotted this uh, uh, moose over here and we're gonna go and nail him maybe I got Brian Williams good old buddy here so <laughs> she's in you have qualifications for that Margaret how many moose have you gutted in your life well this will be the zero one <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't pick on Newt anymore. He just needs a heart. <laughs> he has a yeah. brain too. <laughs> but we're here and it's a beautiful day. And I'm trying to keep relaxed. Had a fun time sleeping last night. I've killed this thing ten times. I called <laughs> it out five. <laughs> but now it's down to reality. So another 15, 20 minutes. If you walk it out, along see what happens. Up in Hamburger, well. They think the moose is out there. We did see a cow and they spotted the bull out there somewhere. Right in this area. Kind of a little draw.
gonna go sit up over this rise here. He's down. He's up. Got him? Go. I'm out of breath. <laughs> there he is. We'll get a little closer. Broad. Where's the hip? He may die. Just wait. Tough old bird, huh? Thank you. You know, appreciate it. I'm going to go call Steve up. <laughs> nice job. Woo! Yeah. Two on him. James! Thank you. Go. God damn. Yes! I'm supposed to go call Steve up. Is this how you dreamed about it? bit so, but I got Bob and James to thank. <coughs> I owe them a hunt out west now, big time. And two beers. <laughs> and Brian, yes. I hardly did anything. Once in a lifetime. Yeah. Fantastic. You're shooting again. Then I seen the three cows run off, and one was huge. Yep. And uh, there's a cow, oh, cow and two calves. Yeah, I thought it was him. I didn't dare shoot. I, you guys were. Yeah, I didn't. I, I was directly behind a big tree. Just not even halfway in. I see them come out of here. Yeah, they were laying right in here. You see that 
seen the no, I've seen that thing, thing right the away. Thing. I felt like I was right there. <laughs> I couldn't believe he got up and I thought that first shot he was down for good. Well, he went down right away. I thought he wasn't going to get back up either. 220 grains nailed him. But the second one, he started moving and I let him a bit and I thought, God, I took his head off. <laughs> it was tough. But he went right down. The well, second Jamie one. Jamie Bradley's daughter shot that one of her. I think. in there. This is where he come out. He come down this way. He took a nice fresh dump right there. That's still steaming. That's still steaming. I think Rod's trying to finish him off. That's the fourth shot. Rod's trying to finish him off. Then he come here. And this is where Rod hit him. This is where he went down the first time. Right here. He went down here. Then he went. He went that way, looped around, and then Rod dropped him there. Looks like a nice bull. Yeah, the clock is on the camera here, 1224. Yeah, I got 1225. A few of the guys walked north. Bob, James, and Brian, they went north and walked this little draw south. And I was sitting on the little rise back here. 600 yards away. Yeah. <laughs> I heard hollering and I was looking over that way, but I looked over here and here he was standing there looking back and I saw a cow and maybe a calf. But I put a gun and a bullet in the chamber, lined up the shot and down he went. And I thought that was it. But then he got up again and started trotting away. What you got there, Rod? Ride him, Rodney. Biggest, Ride him. Biggest pronghorn antelope this side of Bisbee. <laughs> yep, October 15th, Rollins, <laughs> Wyoming. Here we yeah. <laughs> Snow on ground. Snow on ground in Rollins in October. <laughs> now it's November 27th, 1998. We're uh, 15 miles east of Perth, North Dakota, roughly. My friend Bob and James. Local people here helped us get this big moose today. Lifetime hunt, and I am so excited. Uh, we 
we got to take care of it here shortly. But uh, Brian Williams, good friend from Fargo, is out here today to enjoy the hunt. My brother Rick and his wife Joyce. Get Joyce in there too. Uh, big smile. Yes, we just walked. We just walked back and got the vehicle. So no one else had to walk back. How nice of you. Okay. Put your clothes on. But uh, yeah, this is quite exciting. Uh, actually, we hunted it for three days solid, night and day. 600 yards. 600 yard shot over hill. Yeah. Bounce, bank it bounce. off the bank it off a rock pile. Yeah. And I and I practiced that shot many times. Yeah. The you only shot you had was to bank it. Actually, Bob had spotted this bull last Sunday. I called him last Sunday. We talked. The bull might be up and. Bob and James were up here this morning, and he was in here with a cow and two calves, and uh, we met him in Bisbee. We come out here for an hour, sitting and talking and bullshitting, and about 10 to 12, we walked out, and Brian, James, and Brian, Brian, James, and Bob went to the north end of this draw and walked him down, and I was planted back here. When he come out, I gave him one, and I had to give him two shots to really put him down. But here he is, and now the the work starts. Well, I thought the celebration should start about now. Yeah, it is. We're gonna crack it right now. Do we got our camera? We need some still photos. I'll walk over to the truck oh, no. and get it. Yeah, we gotta get this done in a hurry, Rod. Trinkle light is wearing off. <laughs> <coughs> Rod, what are you doing Where's back Marlon there? Perkins when you need him. Nutty. He's in the tent having a martini. He's got one bigger than I got, and I'm in a transplant. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmetic surgery, huh? <coughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bad looking position from up here. 